everyone thank you for joining me for another of the uh, Tim Holtz Ranger Distress Oxide colour combination videos and today we're going to be looking at mustard seed if you're joining me for the first time if you've stumbled across me on YouTube we're going to be looking at each of the distress oxide colours individually we're kind of halfway through the range now there's videos on each of the colours alphabetically so far up to the M's and you can find all of these in a playlist on my YouTube channel and I will link that at the end of the video. Now what we're going to do is we're going to swatch this onto white cardstock so you can see how it looks because sometimes the label isn't exactly as it would be once you ink it. We're going to compare it to some other colours in the distress range around the yellows as well and then I'm actually going to give you not two but three different colour combinations just because I couldn't choose which ones to show you today using this colour. So let's get started straight away don't forget please if you are new I'd love it if you could uh, like this video maybe subscribe to the channel if this is the sort of thing you like to see on YouTube and also if you like anything that I'm using so the blending brushes the inks uh, the blending mats and of course the color chart everything is linked down below so you can find out where to get it so first of all mustard seed on its own it's a really bright yellow i always thought mustard seed would be more of an orangey sort of browny yellow but it's not it's really quite a nice primary color sort of yellow there it is just blended on its own um really really love that now i'm just going to give this a wipe and we'll have a look at how that compares to uh, other colors in the distress chart so in the range now, first of all, obviously the ink pad is always going to be darker because that is fully saturated with ink. But when we look at it compared to the label, it's actually not too far off. Maybe the label is a little bit lighter, brighter, but this does still have to dry. So it's not too far off. And uh, I've mentioned it lots in my videos. But again, for those of you who are new, the bottom, uh, bottom left-hand corner and the top right-hand corner on the Distress Oxide labels, uh, because it's a watercolour effect on here, the bottom corner is the solid colour, so that's where you're going to get the, the most likeness, uh, the colour that is most true to what you've got inside. So that's not too far off actually, sometimes they can be sort of quite wildly different and sometimes they're really, really accurate. So let's take a look at the colour chart, let's find my yellow, so I've got a couple of yellows there and a couple there. Um, like I say, the colour chart is available for you to download uh, from my website uh, or my blog. You can go and find that now, download this. You can download the labels as well. So, for example, the coloured and the black labels that you can see here are all uh, available as PDF downloads completely for free. I don't ask you to sign up for anything. You can just simply go along and download those and start adding those to your stash so mustard seed we have here um, by the way the uh, color chart you do need to fill in yourself but it's a really good way of learning which colors you already have and which ones you still need so as you can see mustard seed there just above that um, we've got squeezed lemonade now squeezed lemonade is much lighter a lighter paler yellow underneath that we have shabby shutters but you're kind of going then into the greens so definitely nothing comparable there let's come to the bottom here we've got fossilized amber which has more of an orange tone it's not too dissimilar i think fossilized amber for all of these color combinations i think it would probably work scattered straw again we're also looking at a little bit of a creamy almost an orangey peachy tone to that although it is still does fall within the yellows but it's nowhere near as bright and as you can see um must have seen this definitely the brightest of the yellows and then let's take a look at some of these color combinations that i have created for you the first one is going to be kind of tonal as in i'm going to stick with sort of similar colors just go darker in the range so I've got here spiced marmalade and gathered twigs so if you're looking for something that's really quite autumnal this is going to be absolutely perfect now other color combinations I have for you so stay tuned is a really lovely bright one and one that's really quite masculine as well so uh, that's why I couldn't really decide what to what to show you today I wanted to show you sort of lots of different combinations um, when you've got something that's as versatile as a yellow it's really very easy to mix them with lots of different colors and i like to try and show you two different combinations that are very wildly different but there were so many options with yellow um right okay so gathered twigs is my chosen brown so i'm just going to put this into the end and hopefully you can see the reason i've chosen gathered twigs from all of the browns because it does have this sort of warm 
um, undertone to it. So it goes really nicely into the orange. So let's bring, I've got a bit more orange on my brush here. I'm just going to use this to start with and see if that blends. I've actually got a little bit of orange on the brush there where I don't, sorry, a little bit of brown on the brush, I don't want it. But I'm just going to keep working at this and seeing if I can do it. I probably need a little more orange. I usually try to use the ink that's on my brush first of all. There we go. Well, talking of orange. <laughs> Okay, so unfortunately the cat did just walk across um, my desk and as she did so, she managed to uh, stop recording. So I have just filmed a huge chunk of this video, which uh, you won't see because I didn't realise she'd stop recording it. But this is as far as I believe we got up to before the cat managed to join us. Now I think she came because we were talking about oranges, she's a ginger cat, so uh, I think she was um, attracted by that. But either way. I have finished this colour combination for you. So mustard seed, spiced lemon, uh, sorry, spiced marmalade and gathered twigs. A beautiful autumnal colour combination there. Now, the next one that I'm going to show you, I've already blended um, because like I say, the video I didn't realise had actually stopped recording. So I'm going to show you this one and that is um, Mustard seed, picked raspberry and seedless preserves. Now I do have another combination for you in a moment, but that has created this swatch here, which is just absolutely beautiful. One of my favorites I've done in a long time. Now it looks like it's actually four colors because the mustard seed, when it's blended into the picked raspberry, we have this gorgeous sort of coral color going on in the middle, almost an orange in there. Really, really beautiful. And then into the seedless preserve. So it looks like there's four color combination, absolutely stunning as a sunset or something like that. Um, but they are the colors I've used for your second combination there. And then let's do one more. So pop that to the side and we will revisit these in just a moment. Now this one, I think I'm going to go this way. Okay, so I chose these colors and like I say, they're quite, quite a masculine combination here. Um, so we've got, again, some of my favorite colors, Uncharted Mariner and Ice Spruce, I love. Mustard Seed is kind of like the, the contrast between the three. The three on their own are really quite dull. Um, as in dark colors, quite moody colors, um, but you pop that yellow in and it just makes a really lovely combination. So let's see how this one's going to work out. So we'll start with Uncharted Mariner. Now the reason I've chosen at the moment to put my yellow there is because I felt like it needed to be next to the Ice Spruce because Ice Spruce does fall within the greens. Um, and going from blue into yellow would create a green anyway, so we'd have an alternative green uh, if we did that. So then I thought blue into ice spruce, and now I know these work beautifully, which I'll now show you. Um, and then the green ice spruce into the yellow mustard seed will work nicely as well. And just look at this. Look how well those two blend together. They are just stunning, absolutely beautiful. Um, I could blend these two colors into other things as well all day long. So there's your blue into a kind of a gray green. Then we're going to go into the mustard seed because uh, green has yellow in it. So it does make for a really nice blend into each other. Just dry my mat, don't forget to keep drying your mat. If you're not sure why, if you're sort of, why does she keep drying them out? Why is it so important? Um, take a look at a video that I've recently posted. It's on my channel there for you. Um, and this is explaining the difference between distress inks and distress oxide, but it's also showing you basically what happens when you mix inks and oxides with water. So uh, beautiful effects, and that is kind of the property that they are most known for. But if you're wondering why I'm so, um, so sure to make sure my mat is dry before I start blending, then definitely go and check out that video and that will explain it all. I'll link that actually up here for you. So uh, I've just realized I've just put ice, my ice spruce brush into my mustard seed while I was talking. If you do that, just take a wet wipe and just 
give it just keep wiping it and wiping it and I will dry this as well until it's all clean it won't take long so give it a dry as well bit of kitchen towel make sure there's no moisture on there because it's the moisture that we don't want there we go I think that's not too bad now I won't go back and use that brush until that's completely dry lastly we're going into hickory smoke I thought let's finish it off with um, another darker color a moody color to really make the yellow pop I think it's going to make it look really beautiful and I do love to have a contrasting color within a color combination something that is really nice and bright and this is going to make that really stand out so just a little bit of gray on the end there just mixing the two in so you see you've got that little pop of yellow throughout the color combination now again all of these com combinations they always look 10 times better once they are um, dried because the pigment the dye dries the pigment sits on top they look lovely and smoothed out but let's take a look at all three of these combinations there we go let's do a switch around just so you can see the yellow in different areas so this last one was uncharted mariner iced spruce mustard seed and hickory smoke um, so you can clearly see the mustard seed throughout all three definitely my favorite in the middle here but there's lots of different combinations that you can be using at home within your card making and don't forget you don't have to do uh, swatches like this where they've got nice sort of little horizontal blending lines between them you can just put three of these on a mat do some smooching maybe and uh, mix the colors up that way so there's a different way to uh, play with them so everything that I've used is linked down below don't forget to please subscribe to my channel if you are new I would love that and I've got lots more coming up in the way of distress oxide videos and check out the playlist for all of the other colors that came alphabetically before mustard seed I'll see you again with another video take care